Hey guys, my name is Virginia. I am a junior at the University of North Florida studying ceramics. Um, I'm also an art installer at MOCA Jacksonville, um, Museum of Contemporary Art, Jacksonville. Um, and I'm going to show you guys my home studio and how I have been creating since the coronavirus. So we're, we're standing in it. Uh, this is my studio. Um, I'm on the back porch of my parents' house. Um, you can see I've got my wheel, I've got this table that I used kind of for wedging, preparing my clay. I've got my reclaimed clay, the clay that I didn't use but started to use. Like um, if I throw, I've got a lot of reclaim that comes out of my um, splash pan, splash pan, that's what it's called. Um, over here I've got my kiln. It's a kiln sitter. Um, the fire's to come seven. Um, so it's for mid-range clay, clay firing, and I just fire in it. Um, over here is my shelves. I've got my kiln supplies down here, some mid-range clay here. My greenware pieces, so these need to be bisque fired. They have not been bisque fired yet. Um, all my tools, and then these pieces have been bisqued, and they need to be glazed and glaze fired. Um, so... The ceramic process um, is kind of, it, it has a lot of steps that I mentioned, um, bisque firing and glaze firing. So um, in ceramics, you make your piece. Um, it can be sculpture, it can be throwing, function, um, but you make it um, and then you fire it. You bisque fire it is what we call it um, to cone 06. And that's about... 1,830 degrees Fahrenheit um, and then when it's done you take it out um, and you glaze it and depending on the type of clay that you're using you use different glazes so some clays go to cone 05, 04, um, some go those are low fire clays and that's still around the 1,830 degrees Fahrenheit um, and then mid-range clays go to cone four, five, six, um, and that's around 2,230 degrees Fahrenheit. And then high fire clays, which is cone nine, 10, 11, those go to 2,340 degrees Fahrenheit about. Um, so one way that Corona has affected my creative process is I, I've had to start switching to mid-range clays, whereas before I was working in high-fire clays. Um, so that temperature difference, while it kind of seems small, it, it makes a pretty big difference in um, your glaze firing options and results. Um, so that has been a big change for me. Um, it's been interesting though, it's, it's taught me a lot doing that switch. Um, however, it hasn't, Corona hasn't really affected my process much aside from that. Um, before I start a piece, um, I do a lot of sketching and then I'll start hand building or I'll start throwing and then I go through that whole process. Um, the biggest change is less equipment. Um, I don't have a slab roller for hand building, which is very nice for hand building to have a slab roller. Um, and then I don't have access to all the high fire kilns or the uh, materials needed to make high fire glazes and stuff like that. So that has been a big change for me. I would describe my work to people who have never seen it as maybe organic and curvy, kind of softer, um, instead of angular or geometric. Um, I tend to explore ideas within nature, like um, forms and patterns found in nature. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from that. Um, I also explore functionality as well as sculptural work. Um, I really like sculptural work. Um, a ceramic based sculpture assignment is what got me into ceramics. It's what sparked my interest. Um, but recently I've been working really hard on functional work um, and trying to understand and strengthen my skills in that. I don't feel like I have like a 
general look or style yet um, because since I'm a student and since I am so new to ceramics, I'm learning so much and absorbing so much that my work is constantly evolving, my skills are strengthening and evolving. So I, I, I'm working on my own like particular body of work and what makes me happiest and what I feel I make best. Um, so it's really exciting, but I don't, I wouldn't say that I have like a strong look or, or feel. I feel very lucky to be able to do what I love during such an uncertain time. I hope all of you guys are staying safe and healthy and thanks for watching. Come visit Mocha when we're back up and running.